Good day to everyone. I'm Mad Wantamad and welcome to another video here at Madodal's channel. For today's video, we are going to update you on the progress of our Vortex Brewer here at Maid Farms. So to do the update, let's first recap the parts of our Vortex Brewer. So this is our main Vortex Chamber or Vortex Brewer outside and we have an airlift here. So the airlift is run by a compressor. So the compressor is located somewhere remotely and then we run a line or a hose and the hose will run from the top to the bottom of our uh, pipe here. And then from the bottom of the pipe, the air together with the sludge will be drawn up and pumped above here. And then here we have a T and the T will divert the water into our vortex chamber over here. So let's go to our vortex chamber over here. So in our vortex chamber, we have activated sludge. So this is sludge from our aquaponics system, okay? So this is like a miniature STP or a miniature sewage treatment plant. So from the airlift, it exits here and it provides a tangential flow, okay? So because we are providing air together with the vortex action, our sludge is always aerobic because our sludge is always aerobic there's no smell so we do, we do not like the anaerobic uh, sludge because it, it will have a smell and it will degas our nitrogen so we don't want the nitrogen to degas in our system because we need the nitrogen for our plants okay so because this is a vortex motion the velocity of the water outside the vortex chamber is slower than the velocity of the water in the middle so because of that difference in velocity it creates a shear force okay so because of that shearing force it creates granules now we copy the technology from a large sewage treatment plant because we want to create here aerobic granular activated sludge when you create aerobic granular activated sludge it becomes a very efficient uh, granule to process our sludge for us or our waste for, for us so we also control the velocity of our vortex chamber if it's too slow it, it can become anaerobic or it will create large granules we don't want very large granules because the large granules will have uh, too much anaerobic zone in the center so we only create sand sand sized particles of granules so we'll have enough aerobic and anaerobic space to efficiently process our waste. So let's get a sample of our activated sludge here. We have a beaker here. And then we get a sample. Set it aside here. And then we start the timer. Uh, we, we time it at 3 minutes. Okay, so it's starting. So we let this settle for 3 minutes. Whatever settles at the bottom are our granules and whatever is left on top are the filamentous uh, sludge so we don't want to create the filamentous sludge because it's very hard to settle or it's very hard to clarify the water with a lot of filamentous sludge so we only want to create granules so we wait for that to settle and, it, and it, when the sludge settles we take the filamentous sludge and we discard it from the system and then we put back the granules in our uh, brewer so let's wait while waiting for that to happen while we are waiting for our sludge to settle we will get some sludge in our uh, system here so we have a drain here try to get some sludge in our filter okay so our system is fairly clean and then we add our sludge here okay so we keep the F2M ratio high here so that our bacteria will have something to eat or something to process. So we get some more sludge in the other part or in the other compartment. Okay. We add it here. Now because our system has a built-in clarifier, when you do that, all the granules are left, left at the bottom and everything that floats are left on the outer part of our system okay 
So we get some a sample from the uh, up outer part of the system. Let's fill up a plastic bottle. Okay, and we put it aside here first. Okay. So, here, because we have a built-in clar clarifier, this system is continuous, okay? So, you can attach this system in line with your aquaponic system. You can attach from the bottom. We have an attachment point here. So, this is the inlet of our sludge. If you want to attach this in line, it goes in and then it enters our vortex chamber, okay? And then, if you want to attach this offline or you want to place this offline you can get your sludge from your aquaponics system or your recirculating aquaculture system and then you add in the center so when you add it in the center water will displace and everything that floats up or is clarified already will exit our overflow over here okay so the timer is now uh, up it's already three minutes we, we stop this first so here we have the granules and here is the filamentous bacteria. So the filamentous bacteria you can discard. Let's discard this here first. So the gravel bed also serves as our clarifier. And then the granules or what's left under which settles at 3 minutes we put back in our system. We want to create more of those granules so we create more uh, granular aerobic granular activated sludge to process our system efficiently okay so let's compare the clarity of the water from our middle chamber and from the outside chamber let's get a sample so as you can see water here is now very clear with little solids left compared to the sludge we get from our filtration so this we can add to our soil based garden or to our offline or inline aquaponic system okay so we want to keep the system aerobic because again we don't want denitrification to happen we need the nitrates we also want to keep the system uh, aerobic because the granules will consume the phosphorus in the system if there's an anaerobic uh, situation or anaerobic sludge in your system, okay? So again, we want the nitrates and the phosphorus in the system. So this water is uh, a little yellow or has a yellow tint, but that's okay with the plants. That The plants can handle it as long as you take away all the solids in the system. Again, to recap the system, let's recap our system. So this is our... Vortex Brewer. This is an industrial size Vortex Brewer. Uh, it's designed for uh, our commercial system. So we will attach this to uh, one of our commercial system in the future. Uh, this is running for a month now. So we are doing tests on the granule size that we create. So we vary the speed of the Vortex depending on the speed. Uh, the faster the speed, the, the smaller the granules we create, the slower the speed the larger the granules we can create in the system. And then the outside clarifier, in the future we will attach a aeration here so it can be maintained by just turning on the aeration and agitating the clarifier and dislodging the sludge in the system. Okay? And then this is an airlift system. We provide air to this hose. This is our airlift. It creates a vortex. The vortex it creates an aerobic uh, chamber for our sludge, which is very efficient in digesting our sludge. So, if you want to learn more about uh, compost tea brewing or aquaponics, uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe on our YouTube channel, Madodal. We also have a Facebook page, Modular Aquaponics. And don't forget to click the notification bell if you want to get updated on our future videos. So again, thank you for watching.